A dependency shows a relationship in which one class uses another class in some way. So you can see here we have a dependent class, sometimes called the client, that uses a second class, a class on which it depends, sometimes called the supplier. And these two classes are connected by a dependency arrow. The arrow points from the client to the supplier, from the dependent class to the class that it uses. You can read this dependency arrow as uses A. So in looking at this diagram, we would say a client uses a supplier. Or you can read it as relies on or knows about some way to show that the client uses the supplier. So for an example, let's say we have a class called janitor, and that class has an operation called sweep. The janitor class would depend on the broom class so we would say a janitor uses a broom. Now notice if there are changes to the supplier class, it can affect the client class. And it's worth keeping this in mind. It's important to keep track of dependencies because in a complex system, changes to a class are likely to affect other classes and you want to make sure that you can follow this through the whole system. The dependency arrow, at its most basic, represents a uses a relationship, as I said. But you can stereotype dependencies as you can stereotype other elements of the UML. For example, you can stereotype dependencies in use case diagrams to include or extend use cases. In class diagrams, you can create stereotypes for dependencies to suit your needs. and. Over here, you can see an example of the kinds of stereotypes that you might want to consider applying to dependencies. Binding dependency, permission, access, import, merge, instantiation, substitution, and so on. So keep in mind that even though the basic dependency relationship is uses A, you have quite a bit of flexibility through using stereotypes and applying them to dependencies.